Hiya, kiddos. Thanks for coming back to Grandpa Ken. He's always so lonely without you. Thank you for coming. We're going to read one of my early books I used to read to my grandkids. They were fun. We're going to read about Tommy and the Rugrats in Pizza Cats. Well, what does Rugrats got to do with pizzas and cats, huh? Well, let's find out. Pizza time! Tommy and his friends look for the box. That's how they always got their pizza, in a box. But it was different tonight. We're going out for pizza, Dee Dee said. Ooh. Huh? Do you guys go out every once in a while for pizza? Or we get it delivered a lot to the house, and then it's always in a box. Dee Dee and Betty took the babies to Pete's Pizza. Three stray cats were in the doorway. Watch out for those cats! They might scratch. Lil didn't think so. They looked sad. But Betty hurried her way. Huh? Look at them. They're just three cats. Oh, they're just out on the street. They don't have a home. Inside, Pete was tossing pizza dough high in the air like they do. They, it goes in a circle. Did you see those cats? He asked Dee Dee and Betty. Someone should take them home. They are the biggest pest around. Oh, see he's up. See the pizza he's throwing up. Yeah, but that that's not very nice for the cats. The biggest pets. Lil thought they were kind of small. The babies watched Pete toss the dough up and down, up and down. Suddenly, Tommy whispered, "Hey guys, we have to find." The real pizza. The kind, you know, that comes in a box. Uh-oh. I think Tommy's going to go on another adventure. Here we go. Tommy spied another room. That must be the place, he said. Dee Dee and Betty were busy. Now's our chance, said Tommy. Come on. I don't know, Tommy, said Chucky. Anything can be behind that door. Anything. Then Lil and Phil took Chucky's hands, and they all sneaked away. Uh-oh, they were sneaking away from their adults. That's a good way to get in trouble. Inside the room, Chucky kept his eyes shut. But the other babies grinned. What a place! The room was full of tomatoes and big doughy balls. Come on, Chucky said, Tommy, let's play ball. Uh-oh. Those weren't really balls, were they? No, I don't think so. The babies played catch with the dough, and then, then the tomatoes and splat! Flour and bits of tomato flew everywhere. Look at this, said Phil. It's the stuff we put on Christmas trees. Let's sprinkle it, Lil said. Oh, no, look at the mess they're making. Oh, their grown-ups aren't going to be very happy. Just then, Tommy saw the stack of pizza boxes. Pizza, he yelled. But the box was empty. All the boxes were empty. No pizza anywhere, said Tommy. Then the babies heard a loud meow, meow. Chucky jumped. Whoa, 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 what was that, he asked. It's the big pets, said Lil. Maybe they want to come inside. Ooh, it's just the cats, isn't it? See, they had a security camera, so they knew. How could the babies help? Tommy had an idea. Tommy always has an idea. It gets him in trouble. The babies stacked the boxes one by one all the way to the window. Tommy climbed up and let the cats in. The cats looked around. They nibbled on the tomatoes. They chewed on the doughy balls. Look, cried Lil. The pets are eating the toys. They weren't really toys, guys. Were they kiddos? No. The cats rolled and played and ran and jumped with the babies. Now let's give the big pets a ride, Tommy said. And around and around the cats crashed, boom, bang. This is fun, said Chucky. Told you, said Tommy. Now what else could they do? 
Uh oh, look at the room. I don't think the guys are going to be happy that own the pizza place. Just then, Pete, Dee Dee, and Betty hurried in. Uh oh, they must have heard the noise. Oh no! cried Pete. Those big pests have made a big mess. He was so upset, he almost dropped his pizza. See, look at it. He almost dropped his pizza. But walking into that room with that mess, that had to be pretty shocking. The babies looked at one another. They felt bad. They had helped to make the big mess, too. Here, big pets, said Lil. You can play with these strings. And the cats batted the cheese and then gobbled it up. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, they're, oh no, guys. While, why, they're just hungry, the poor things, cried Betty. Mew, 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 aw, called the cats. One cat licked some tomato sauce from the pizza. Another pulled at the cheese and one nibbled at the crust. They were starving. They were hungry cats. Pete smiled. Well, he said, the cats are kind of cute and they do like pizza. I guess they can stay here where it's nice and warm and there's plenty to eat. Dee Dee looked at her watch. It was getting late. Oh, dear, she said. Can we have the pizza to go? The babies were happy. The cats had a home and they would have... The pizza in the box, just the way they liked it. Well, sometimes they just get into trouble, and still it works out good. And there, they had their pizza in a box. Whoops. Pizza in a box. And Pete's looking on, and Tommy's happy as usual. He won. Well, kiddos, this was the Rugrats first one, so let me know what you think. Just... Tell your grown-up, if they go to ProfessorProfit.com, they can leave me a message and I can do a shout-out for you or read you a book. I thank you guys. I love you all coming to my site and I do love your company. You have a good one and I'll see you later.